they want to Talk don't bother me I want the whole wide world to know that I love you so And welcome to Let Em Talk. I'm Paul Dirienzo. And I'm Miss Joan Marie Moosey. And Joni, happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Happy birthday, Joni. It's Joni's birthday. <laughs> I didn't know we were going to mention that. Right? Thank you. And I'm going to throw it to Joni because this is her, her birthday guest, and you came up with this, uh, That's right. with this show to, to uh, mark your birthday. So why don't you introduce our guest? This is my friend Daniel Bodner. Hello. He's a wonderful painter, and we're going to see you. some of his paintings, and we're going to talk about his career mm -hmm. and your training. Did you go to art school, or did you go to college sort and major of, yeah. in art? Or? <laughs> Well, I, well, we were just talking about the oh. fact that I went to the University of Wisconsin in Madison, but I actually studied, uh, I was a psych major there. Oh, that's so interesting. I was, no, I was in the poli sci department, North oh. Hall. Oh, yeah. Well, no, it wasn't very Baskin far Baskin Hill. Okay. <laughs> yeah, getting up the hill. <laughs> right. Was, right. Oh, I yeah. couldn't get up that hill anymore, so I decided to go Especially to Especially after humanities. a long, <laughs> long afternoon at the, stu at the Union there. At the Union, yeah. He's <laughs> <So laughs> exactly right. still called the Union, right? right? Well, that's where the Union started. The yeah, newspaper. Joni and I had started. a beer yeah. and brought there once. Well, Johnny well I did not have a brought. Thank you very much. I actually lived in the Union for a little while. You lived in Yeah, because, no, no, I... I had an office there, oh, and, you and I was kind of in between apartments, so I would just stay the there. All <laughs> in the, in the I was, yeah. You were in the WSA I, I, office? Yes. Oh, I remember yes. well. That was my office. I was in the student government. Uh, oh, well, yeah. that was across the hall because, no, I was, um, what, what did it call well, it? I know. What? WUD was, what, the w which was the right. Wisconsin Union Director. Oh, that's so and interesting. I, I ran the art gallery, which there was oh, an art gallery okay. down yes, there. Yes, that was my yes. Job. Oh, well, this is a whole show in itself. This is a show. We're going to have to do a University of Wisconsin Madison show. Exactly. Uh, well, a very interesting place. You guys have yeah, twice stayed across from each other. So right. You had apartments York, across the street from each other as on, well. Right. Oh, yeah. On yeah. Avenue Way oh, you're between 12th and 13th. Well, not anymore, but I was. Okay. All right. In the White Building? In the, the tall white uh, building? The, yes, the, oh, right. right. Well, next to Rapture. So, next where is that the yellow building? Yes, yellow. it's the next okay. to the no, yeah, next to the yellow building. All right. So we know. Yeah. You see, it's a small town. It's a very it's a small, small place. Small, world, <laughs> small country. Well, uh, you know, talk about a small place where I work. I just I discovered that one of the teachers where I works, uh, brother-in-law, was the person who became producer of the Gary Knoll Show after I did. Oh, how funny! He yeah, had Richard, your job and, next. I was wondering. Right. I thought it was just the same name. <laughs> yeah. I found out they were related. So uh, there's a lot of small coincidences in a small world. But let's go and talk about your art, because oh, your yeah. art is okay. about our yeah. small world, right. more yes. inside, in right. large part. And uh, in large part, it's small world. <laughs> well, um, as I was saying, I started studying psychology and then um, decided that I wanted to be a painter. So I started painting. and. At the same time, I had a job at the uh, Elvium Museum mm -hmm. there. At oh, the, yeah, uh, Joni was there. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Remember the Elvium? Yes. Yeah. Beautiful museum. And, um, and uh, oh, no, wait, it wasn't at the Elvium. It was the other museum downtown. Okay. Uh, you know, up toward the Capitol. Oh, uh, oh in, what, the, uh, the, uh, in the city building there, the city. Yeah. Uh, it, right, they it, just built the that. My last, yeah, it wasn't the Elvium. My last year there, they just built that. It's a long time ago. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyway, right. and I, I was introduced to uh, some of the San Francisco Bay Area painters, namely... Uh, Nathan Oliveira, and seeing his work really influenced me a lot. There was a, a sort of psychological element to it, and um, at that point I just started painting and haven't really stopped since, mm -hmm. essentially. So. Great, great. So uh, tell us a little bit about, we're going to show them in a, a, a okay. number of your uh, paintings in a minute. Yeah. Give people an introduction of what they're going to be seeing. Well, I paint in oil. It's figurative work. Uh, for years, I, I painted uh, just a little more abstractly than what I do now. They were figures, nudes, essentially. Uh, but, and I lived in Europe for a long time, in Amsterdam. Um, uh, and I really just moved back to New York in 2005. And since coming back to New York, uh, I've started, my, my work shifted a lot. And I started looking more at um, the uh, at New York itself and the spaces. So you'll, what you'll see now is... Um, they're sort uh, of cityscapes. Yeah, they're cityscapes. Yeah. They're, they're paintings of, of... Were you uh, inspired in Amsterdam? I was inspired in Amsterdam. It's in an many, inspirational place. <laughs> it is a lovely place. And yeah. it has a lot in common with New York, since New York is sort of modeled after New it Amsterdam in a lot was. of yeah, ways, yeah. architecturally. And there are a lot of funny... Uh, uh, commonalities. Sort of, yeah, yeah, commonalities between uh, mm -hmm. Amsterdam and New York. Yeah. So let's take a look at some of your paintings and talk about them. Okay, okay great. Let's talk over yeah. as we're watching yeah. them. So okay. I'm going to move over here, guys. All right. And we're going to go to the paintings. Mm -hmm. And what are we looking at right now? It looks familiar. 
Well, that is uh, East 9th Street, and uh, for a couple of years I had a studio in the uh, building that was, that's PS122 on the corner of East 9th Street and 1st Avenue. I'm not in there anymore, so I, um, but, but uh, this is from 2008, I think, and uh, uh, it's a view looking west on East 9th Street. Now, when you do a painting mm -hmm. like that, yeah. do you sit outside with an easel like you see some people doing or no, no. I, okay I can't you do don't that. do I'm that too nervous. no it's a, painting is a real personal experience for me so I actually what I started doing was taking lots of photographs and using uh, photographs I'll, I'll sort of sit for a long time and take a lot of photographs of the same spot mm -hmm. and then I'll uh, look at the photographs in in Photoshop and edit them on the computer and take things out and move things around and that's the thing about art is that it allows you to sort of re, uh, re-experience reality in your own way. Exactly. And so these are not maybe exactly accurate, but um, so you don't take one photograph and decide, well, this is the one I'm going to paint this. Not usually, no. Yeah. Like for example, those two people probably weren't walking at that at same that moment. moment. I might have plucked mm -hmm. one from, you know. So I'll change details, and I'm interested in looking at the light and how it, how it. Uh, I mean, traditionally in a painting, light will describe uh, an object or a space, but in, uh, in this case and in the cases of some of the other paintings we'll see, uh, it can also obliterate objects in space, so it sort of gives it a different atmosphere. This is also uh, East 9th Street, actually, it's, it's the same spot, just looking the other the way. The other way, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you see well, way off in the corner there, the, uh, on the right side of the painting, is is the building, the PS122 building. Now, mm -hmm. the colors are so beautiful in yeah. those two paintings. So have you accentuated the reality? Oh, definitely, mm -hmm. yeah. But I think there's also something about New York and the way the light hits buildings. And oh, sure, it like can the be, yellow especially awning. During the winter, and, yeah, yeah, it can really uh, try to... Uh, well, so I've been trying to work a lot with color in the last couple of years. Um, and. Uh, you know, make it a little, perhaps more than what it actually is. Right, enhance but, it a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Uh, We're looking at right now. This is actually uh, Fifth Avenue, uh, looking down Fifth Avenue at around 14th Street. And I did a whole series of paintings called Crossing Fifth Avenue. Um, and um, in this painting, you'll also see uh, it's a pretty good example of what I'm talking about with light, because uh, the light kind of uh, seems to uh, break the image apart a little bit. Um, and you see that sometimes when you look at uh, uh, looking at a, a movie of a car coming toward you or mm -hmm. looking into a light, you'll see those kind of strange uh, halations or, or these light spots, flares flying around. So I try to get that uh, in the paintings as well. Now this is certainly like a quintessential New York scene. Mm -hmm. Anybody who's been to New York knows that yeah. the creeping into the intersection that the New York right. pedestrians <laughs> do. Wouldn't see that in any other city yeah, in the yeah. World, I mean, you, anyone who's been to New York would know that yeah. was a New yeah. York painting. Maybe a few places, but almost nowhere else. Oh, good. Well, I like to think so. That yeah, it is really pretty quintessential in New York. Mm -hmm. uh, this is down on Avenue A, actually. Okay. And again, it's um, a lot of the, the paintings, especially these are from uh, 2008 and 9, were looking directly into the light. So that accentuated this, uh, what I was just talking about, figures being sort of broken apart by light. Mm -hmm. Now I noticed in several of the paintings the shadows as well, mm -hmm. that you're really yeah. working with a shadow. Yeah. It's not a mere sort of splat of black paint. It's, yeah, no, it's quite complex. Yeah, and if you look at the, I mean, we're looking on a television screen, right. but if you look at them uh, in person, there's a lot more detail, of course, on the surface of it. Now, the tell painting. us now, if people are interested in seeing more paintings, finding out more about you, do you have a website? I do, Okay, yes. tell us that website. Uh, you can go to www.danielbodner.com. Okay, so let's spell that, Daniel, oh. D-A-N-I-E-L. D yes, Bodner, B-O-D-N-E-R. Great, dot com. com. Yes. Go back and to the pictures, these wonderful pictures. Okay, here. go on. And, uh, <laughs> now, the other thing, just before mm -hmm. you, we go to talk yeah. about this one, in that the, the previous one, I noticed that you could actually see someone's face in that one. Yeah. And I think that's the first one. 
There, yeah, there aren't a lot of faces in there. They're generally kind of shadows, especially in these uh, silhouetted uh, or they're, they're silhouetted. Yeah. So also, I, I don't, I'm not that interested in portraiture mm -hmm. or uh, trying to capture any one in particular. I think that, and this is a throwback to my older work as well. Uh, figures are meant to be kind of icons in a way, or just sort of general uh, idea of. A figure, a human, so, yeah. so we can all relate. Or a man, to that. or a yeah. woman. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But a, fa a face got into that yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a painting of uh, Times Square at night, looking south on Times Square at night, which I uh, uh, did two versions of, and um, I wanted to experiment with uh, the same thing that I was just talking about with light, but then in reverse. So mm -hmm. at night, and you have the source of light which you get anyone who's walking around in New York at night on the west side, whether you're above it or below it. You see, you Times, see Square. Times Square, this right. sort of glowing ball like a jewel. And, um, well, oh, that's... So that's what sort of about... This is sort of interesting. Mm -hmm. Since they stopped vehicular traffic in New York, I mean, in Times Square, mm -hmm. one of the first things that I noticed when I went up there was the lack of light at ground level because the car lights aren't there. Oh, yeah. So at night, all the lights are above you, mm -hmm. where it used to be they were all around you. And it, to me, it made a huge visual difference in what Times Square looks like at night. Times Square is so different, generally. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, general. I avoid it like the plague. I never go there. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I happen to be walking. this painting that this is there's from a lot of ground-level <laughs> light. I love the look in the distance because me too. I avoid it, but I see it as I cross above or below it. Right, you, you can see it in the distance. You can see a sort of glow, a dim, right. like, a, like a ball of light, which I always find. Because it is a beautiful. light thing. Yeah. And this is over on the west side, and it's also a really good example of how uh, the light will sort of, uh, kind of ruin the image in a way. Um, you have some trucks or vans way off in the background there, as you can see in the top left. Um, but they're also sort of melting. I mean, literally, the, it's very liquidy paint that I've put on there, and, and it's sort of just spattered on. Now, tell us about the size of these paintings. Like, what are we looking at? Well, right, good question. These, um, this particular one is, uh, is um, uh, just two feet tall, 24 okay. by 20, um, as was the last one. Uh, the last couple of years, I've been basically working in two sizes, so the, okay. these 20 five by 20 approximately mm -hmm. and about and then a larger version of them was four by five feet oh that's pretty um, big currently oh. right now i'm working on a much on a larger canvas it's about six feet wow. a couple of them and those oh. are going right. to a show uh in chicago yeah tell us about that now where are you, where's your show going to be in one chicago? question while we were on the oh, subject okay. of, oh yeah how long does it take to paint one oh well it averages about a week. It doesn't matter how big or small it is. It's, it's about a week, usually. Sometimes they happen faster. Sometimes it's a couple of weeks. I often do work on more than one thing of at course, once. Of course, yeah. I'll do underpainting. While you're doing, and then moving thinking the about one. this yeah. and yeah. pondering That's, that a little more. I'll also make drawings, you know, bit like I was talking before about the photographs. Yes. I will take a lot of photographs and kind of ultimately build an image that I'm, or a composition that I'm interested in and then make drawings uh, on, in my sketchbook because that's, for me, a way of kind of making it my own. And it's part of the it, process. Yeah, of taking it away from photography. Mm -hmm. and, and now you mentioned you're going to uh, Chicago. Yes, March 5th is the opening of uh, an exhibition which will run um, March 5th through the end of April uh, in a gallery called the Roy Boyd Gallery. It's uh, at 739 North Wells. <laughs> if you're in Chicago. <laughs> if you're in Chicago. Uh, <laughs> we're on the come internet. on by. We'll be on the internet again. I've shown there for uh, 14 years. Oh, wow. Like that's that. fantastic. So I've done a lot of shows with Roy Boyd. Mm -hmm. And um, this is the next one. Right. So, uh, and I did bring a couple of the paintings, I think one or two that, that will be in, that show. in the show, but mm -hmm. the rest aren't photographed yet. Okay. This, for example, is a large painting. Okay. Uh, so it's, uh, I think, about, you know, uh, about 60 inches wide mm. by 48 tall. Oh, beautiful. It's extreme differently. You can see the portrait, you know. Yeah, the, the I mean, it's, it's a bigger, uh, uh, well, of course, when you see it in person, it has quite a strong effect. Mm -hmm. And this is a reflection. I did a series of these paintings also 
Um, oh, I see. It is. Yeah, you see that on the right side. Okay, yeah. It's the reflection I didn't get that of the at left first. side. Yeah. Oh, that's what okay. That is. I didn't yeah. get that at yeah, first. Yeah, it looks like the old uh, elevated subway from years ago that they used to have on Ninth Avenue. Oh yeah, the uh, the, the, the cars. Well, actually, it's just you know a building on the yeah, right side, yeah. and you see in the windows, or sometimes they're mirrored. Uh, All right. What street is this? Surfaces. Um, I think it's Sixth Avenue. Looking yeah, down yeah, Sixth yeah, Avenue in the twenties. Oh, okay, sure. I know that. I used to work right. at the limelight. <laughs> right. I know well, that area. you know, there are those new buildings there yeah. on the left side. That's so right. <laughs> that everything looks different and new. But I mean, I, I again, you know, art is a chance to sort of re uh, recreate or uh, uh, what life actually is. I think the so pedestrians are, are really interesting in this one too, because to me, it, I can feel them coming towards me. Yeah. Like there is a certain momentum mm -hmm. somehow. You just no really offense, can yeah. feel them coming at you. Well, I want that feeling of uh, movement, of course. I think that makes for an interesting painting. Yeah, and, uh, absolutely. And they're kind of coming into the, coming out of the light or moving into the light. Mm -hmm. I think it's also kind of an interesting metaphor. So, um, is that another? Oh yeah. Here we oh yeah. Here we go. He's yeah. going to put it up. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, is it up? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, this is actually um, a large painting, and it's. Uh, Fresh off the press, so to speak. This is beautiful. Uh, this one is will be the invitation for this exhibition oh, okay. in Chicago. Oh, okay. It's gorgeous. Um, so uh, recently, I moved studios, or last uh, October, and now have a studio on the Bowery. Oh, nice. Uh, in Chinatown, mm -hmm. and um, this is uh, one of the Bowery series. And so, are you looking down out the window? Yeah, or? and I'm okay. on the fourth floor now, and I'm actually started painting right from you know looking wow, out that's the window. Fantastic. And Bowery across street again? It's um, I'm looking at the corner of Hester and uh, oh. and the Bowery, which is funny because when I first first came to New York, uh, I mean moved here as a as a young adult, uh, I used to live on on Broom Street between Christie and, and the Bowery. Oh, okay. And I would so always hang right out in, on that corner. There was a coffee shop, mm. Moishe's. I don't know if you remember Moishe's. That's great. But, uh, I home, love this uh, painting. The, no, the oh, colors thanks, yeah. in this painting are amazing. Like, he's got that Chinatown shopping bag. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Almost all the paintings have that little red orange shopping bag. Well, I was really working on color a lot in this, and I challenged myself in that way um, by altering the, the view. It's slightly mm -hmm. from above, yes. so it has a slightly more voyeuristic Different than or that straight feeling. coming on. Yeah, yeah. and also uh, there, there's a very extreme light and shadow. Mm -hmm. um, right, very clear as opposed to yeah. modeled and, you know. Beautiful. I think there's one more from this series. Oh no, that it, it would have been the other way, but it's okay. This it's okay. It's all right. This is an earlier one. This is back to Fifth Avenue okay. from uh, 2008, uh -huh. and also a great example of the the way light kind of uh, burns the image or, or uh, uh, obliterates it. Also, it's interesting on the left where you mm -hmm. look into the distance mm -hmm. and sort of what happens with that spatial thing mm -hmm. where you've got the van sort of mm -hmm. part way mm -hmm. and then you go There's all the, the way and, yeah the what's really the technique neat. for for producing that bright white light well like a light? that's an interesting question when i when i started painting i i worked with a lot of texture so paintings mm -hmm. were very very thick mm -hmm. and uh the images uh the paint actual formal qualities of the paint on the canvas often referred to mold or crusting mm -hmm. uh, things like this and when I started, uh, you know, depicting images more in the last couple of years, so wanting to adhere to more traditional form of painting, uh, you know, depicting realistic space and stuff like that, I, I was looking for a way to visually stimulate the surface mm -hmm. uh, while still concentrating on the drawing and the compositional elements. And I started painting much thinner and kind of spattering the... Uh, surface with turpentine which literally eats oh, through the wow. paint That's so you get these kind of specks of, of uh, um, well it doesn't always work of course, <laughs> because, <laughs> because sometimes it eats away what you've just painted right. but Oops, so you, you know but it's a uh, it's but a you process, do have a so. lot of interesting texture in your paintings mm, thanks yeah it's, um, well it's kind of a, a you know we're all sort of moving through time and space and i think decaying in one way or another right. <laughs> and so it's a bit of a mi visual metaphor for for that i think now this goes this back, goes to, the back to what of uh, the more recent series yeah and this is actually uh, not the this is the study so a smaller version there is a larger uh, version of the painting which is a little different um, but 
This one won't be in the show because it, it got sent off to Amsterdam for, for something oh, else for already. Thing. Okay. Yeah, but I brought it along because I thought it was a nice image. It is. It's, it's so it's tell us again, what's your uh, email as far as finding out or your, uh, website. your website? Yeah, okay. www.danielbodner.com. Daniel, D-A-N-I-E-L, B-O-D-N-E-R. And uh, there will be all the new paintings up as soon as I'm finished with them, which Great. should be in the next week or so. And, uh, and information about yeah, information about the, where the show upcoming is. Upcoming show, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Great. Great. Yeah. Let's go back to your art. We have a couple more okay. to look at, I think. I we get think back to so. The if you go... And yeah, that's yeah. down on Lafayette Street. Oh, sure. sure. And this was from, um, I think this last September. It was one of the first ones in the studio before I started doing the Bowery series. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, again, it's really typical New York. You see the... Um, you see the uh, uh, light, uh, what do you call them, those light, light posts, posts in the back, mm -hmm. really, you know. Does and it matter to you if it's oh. the old New York scene or a new, modern, more modern New York scene? Well, I, you know, I always try to g pick something that's a, l a little timeless in a way. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously there's trucks and, and, right. and uh, things that are contemporary. Right. Um, but I, I think... I noticed that. It doesn't really, it's, if you, at a first look, it could be anywhere from... Almost, you know, if you don't look at the cars, anything from the twenties to the to the present, yeah. Right? And I and I like that quality because I think art has to be kind of timeless in a way in order to work. And um, now the way you have the light in this one, where there's like panels of white on the sidewalk, yeah, is really interesting too. Well, I find if you look a lot at the sidewalks, especially uh, in, during the winter time when mm -hmm. that when that light is coming from the south so extremely. Um, very often, some of the some of the tiles are, uh, you know, the sidewalk tiles uh, shine in a way that right. other ones don't. It's I don't like really know why that does. This one has yeah, and also they're just geometric it, ele right. elements, which uh, <laughs> sort of bring you lead you back into the painting. Um, and that, this one, everyone's going away from you. Well, that's interesting you say that because that that right. central figure, I think, could be coming towards you. I mean. <laughs> Oh, it's I pretty see. much uh, yeah. it it's so way. silhouetted yeah. that it really. But you're not sure. Yeah. yeah, and I think that that might it's say more about that you. I had than that impression. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing. I think again, also in a good painting, you it's it's a conversation. It's a way of Absolutely. connecting between people. Absolutely, and people so see things differently. The painter does one thing, and, mm -hmm. the, and the viewer does the does the rest. What, one, what, one, what do your what do the critics say? I mean, what do people think about this art? Obviously, it's popular. It's found an audience. What do they think about it? What does it make them feel? Um, well, mostly I've gotten you quite read. good, <laughs> good reviews and such. Um, what is it about your your paintings that turn people on? Well, I think there's uh, people seem to connect with them in a way. There's something always, uh, I wouldn't say existential, but there's something kind of uh, just about uh, existing that's that's uh, seems to uh, you know attract people. Of course, this last uh, couple of years, these sets of paintings are uh, more realistic, so that appeals to a certain kind of person mm -hmm. anyway. Mm -hmm. Do you sell these paintings? Um, yeah, yeah. Oh. I've had a couple of very good years, I have to say. Oh. These are all sold, I mean. Right. Oh, wow. So, uh, I mean, not the last two, because they're not just studio, but... <laughs> Uh, they're to actually put in people's homes. And they're in people's they're homes, in and and right. some there's a few museums that own, oh, but okay. around mostly in the in uh, the Netherlands. But uh -huh. uh, this cool. one's uh, down on Orchard Street. You know the Saul Moscow, mm -hmm. uh, Saul Moscow, Moscow. is that right? Right, 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 that yellow, right, right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I got him. right. So you know, and this was uh, part of that same series, like the red uh, paintings that we mm -hmm. that we began with. Exactly. Um, I was really interested in the way, and it's also a very New York thing, mm -hmm. the downtown New York, especially the the fire escapes and how they become these kind of grids or just, uh, you know, off on the yeah. top left sure, corner and you see the lights light peeking through, through them. You don't yeah. really see anywhere else. Yeah, again, so this is back, back to the beginning. Right, they were the only brought the 12 in. Oh, that's fantastic. Right, right. Yeah. yeah, they're all out of order, but I mean, right. this is, uh, again, from uh, 2000. Also, I think these kind of cityscapes that have an appeal to people of like a vague familiarity yeah. that I think people just love, you know, that that feeling of, I know that, where is that? Well, oh, yeah, you know, that, I think, I think people point. love that process. And yeah, also I think that, that uh, a good painting should allow you to uh, kind of experience something that you know mm -hmm. uh, without actually having to experience it. Uh -huh, I mean, right. in other words, it, it sort of does it for you. Right, there's a detached to, sense at the same time as participating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that could be kind of healing in a way, I mm -hmm. think. <laughs> right, that's interesting. So, uh, 
Well, so New York, is it? Could you have done this anywhere else? I mean, is there a certain special feeling to, for you as an artist in New York? Um, that, Onto this. I think it wasn't specifically so much New York as me coming back to a place that I knew, and and because I like I said before, I lived in Amsterdam for many years, right. and uh, while did you I, paint cityscapes in Amsterdam? No, Not I painted single figures in kind of an abstract space, mm -hmm. a sort of uh, uh, much much more abstract than these. Really? Than these now yeah. this is these are all these these paintings we showed were all in, in Manhattan. Have yeah. you gone outside of Manhattan, Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, Staten Island? Uh, you know, my passport isn't uh, up to date, so <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done that. You're just not able yeah, I can't. I just Manhattan stay right. Yeah, right, 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 right. Uh, No, well, mostly just There's a big city out Manhattan. there, yeah. yeah. No, it's true. Oh, no, I, 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 I get around. Up in the Bronx, there's some beautiful areas. Yeah, yeah Paul yeah, took to me up there. Yeah, I spent a lot of time in, in Old Hunts Point, where I discovered it was hundreds of years old and went back to the days of the Indians. And, and the oh, school yeah. he's in is on, the, on a hill. Mm -hmm. it's so he's got yeah. like an overview of all these amazing things. Oh, yeah. You have to take Daniel. Oh, maybe I have to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and well, on 9 11, they were all up on the roof watching. Oh, so I can you imagine. You see everything. Yeah. The yeah. whole city. Yeah. Well. Well, we have a couple of minutes. Anything you want to add? Do you want to remind folks where they can find out more information? Well, if you're in Chicago, come and see the exhibition at the Roy Boyd Gallery, uh, which opens on March 5th and okay. runs through March and April. Is there any place in New York you can see it right now? Well, I was showing in a gallery on 25th Street, which uh, went the way of many galleries in the last mm -hmm. year and closed. Yeah. Or actually, he How about a museum? closed and moved to uh, uh, Philadelphia. So oh, <laughs> completely oh closed. But, um, uh, not currently no no museum shows at the uh -huh. moment so they can um, go to your website they can go to my website which is www.danielbodner.com right. and, and there so everybody oh yeah it. it's daniel d a n i e l bodner b o d n e r and uh, dot .com okay <laughs> great great and what are you what's your next uh, project well, after this exhibition opens, which is going to be very coming soon, right up. Yeah, yeah, coming right up, I have to get finish the paintings and mm -hmm. get them all shipped off to Chicago. Yeah. Then I'll go to Chicago for the opening, and then I'm going to Amsterdam for a couple months. Oh, I still fantastic. have my apartment there, oh, so that's excellent. and I'll be doing a show there. I think in September or October, right. November, something like that. So I'll start painting again for mm -hmm. that. Where's your, where do you live? What part of neighborhood in Amsterdam? Uh, in, it's called the Old West. The yeah. Old West. Yeah, okay. there's no cowboys there. Right. <laughs> yeah, by, the, by the Amstel River or the other side? It's the other side. The other yeah. side of the Amstel yeah. River. Yeah. That's where we stayed when we were. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. We love Amsterdam. It's okay. For many, many place. reasons. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> right. Right. It's got its qualities. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Yes, well, it does. Uh, yeah. Well, we got uh, half a minute and somebody's calling. I don't know if it will be worth it, but let's give it a oh, shot. Really? Last minute you're on. No, you're not. Oh. They hung up already. Hi, oh. uh, you're on. Yes. Uh, good evening. Good Hi. evening. Question, quickly. Uh, well, uh, this gentleman, uh, Daniel is so personable. Yeah. I wonder if he's ever done a self-portrait or a portrait, or you might say. Uh, All uh, right. Oh, it sounds like Monroe group. from BAI. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 as a BAI person. Yeah, it's Monroe. Monroe. Uh, That's great. Hey, how you doing, well, let Monroe? him answer the question. I've done a few. Go. I've done yeah. a few, but not very many. But I would. I'm actually. This spring, I would like to try to do some more. All Good right. night, and we'll see you all. <laughs> bye Thank bye. <laughs>